Hi, I'm Millie Davenport, a horticulture extension agent with the Clemson University Home and Garden Information Center. Today we're going to look at mountain laurel, Calmia latifolia. Today we're looking at Calmia latifolia. This is a mountain laurel and the mountain laurel is very nostalgic for me because it reminds me of trips to the mountains when I was younger. You'll oftentimes see this plant kind of tucked in between rhododendrons and azaleas on your way up through the mountains. This is a nice native plant to South Carolina and it does have an evergreen foliage to it. The leaves are nice and leathery and thick. Now this plant does need a moist location. Um, but it needs to be well drained. Basically, you're looking for a site that's gonna be similar to what you would need for rhododendrons and azaleas. Acidic soil, well drained, and kind of moist and cool location. Because it needs cool soil, it also should be mulched as well. You need around a two to four inch layer of mulch down around the root system to protect it from our extreme um, heat during the summertime. Now on this plant, you've got some really interesting blossoms to it. Um, these come out in the you know, late spring months. Um, they are bowl shaped, so they're kind of interesting that they're you know, in a bowl shape. They're about three fourths to an inch wide individually, and they come out in these large clusters of flowers that can range from four to six inches wide. The mountain laurel will grow to reach about seven to 14 foot tall, and um, these flowers in the fall will actually develop into a fruit that's a small brown round capsule that as it dries will actually break into five valves um, individually. So you can look at that. The nice thing about the mountain laurel is that that has a really nice color to it. You've got this nice reddish bark, kind of grayish brown color. And also the other cool thing is the crooked gnarly structure of the branches um, that lends itself nicely for being used for making rustic mountain furniture. There's several different cultivars of the mountain laurel. Two of them that we'll look at are Sarah, first of all, and Sarah has a really nice um, red, deeper color to the flowers, um, especially the buds are more red and they open into more of a bright pink color. The other variety um, is Olympic Wedding. An Olympic Wedding that we're looking at has a really nice white color to the flower with a broken cinnamon color throughout the flower itself. And again, these are just something to add some different interest to the landscape other than just your straight species. Now, if you're looking for a plant to use in a moist, well-drained area amongst your rhododendrons and azaleas, a mountain laurel would make a great addition to your landscape. For more information on gardening, landscaping, insect and disease problems on your plant, visit the Home and Garden Information Center website at www.clemson.edu hgic.